Russian Airborne Infantry, the elite ground forces of the Russian military. And before the war with Ukraine, they were considered one of the best airborne fighting forces in the world, with training and equipment on par with the likes of the British Paras or the American 82nd Airborne Division. The Russian Airborne go by another name, the Vosdushno Desantie Voiska, or what the rest of the world calls them, the VDV. On February 24th, a group of 30 or so helicopters paradropped and landed troops at Hostomel Airport in an effort to take the field for follow-on forces that would be arriving via IL-76 cargo aircraft. They would have then unloaded their troops and heavy equipment, including armored vehicles like the BMD, and would have been en route to attack and seize the capital of Kiev before Ukrainian ground forces were fully mobilized. However, airborne operations are one of the most difficult operations to plan and execute. It requires almost perfect timing and knowledge of what troops await you on the ground nearby. With only 30 helicopters, the VDV had at most a battalion of lightly armed ground troops to hold off whatever the Ukrainians would have had nearby. They would not only have to hold the airfield, but provide enough of a buffer zone to allow the big cargo aircraft to land safely. They had to do this with no real artillery, heavy weapons, armored vehicles, or amazingly considering the size of the Russian Air Force, no air support. With at least five of the escorting Ka-52 attack helicopters shot down on the way into the assault and a full Ukrainian National Guard brigade awaiting them, it is no wonder that the token force was quickly overwhelmed by the Ukrainians and retreated into the forest around the airfield. The Russians sent a force of 200 helicopters the following day along with the arrival of heavy ground forces soon after to retake the airport. But by then, the element of surprise was gone, the Ukrainians were fully mobilized, and they would go on to bloody the Russian attackers until they finally withdrew near the end of March. With their withdrawal from the north, so too with the Russian chances for a swift victory, and Ukraine becoming a puppet state for Putin. Now the Russians will have to hope they win in the Donetsk region in order to settle for that token victory after all they have lost so far.